God, praise God. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I pray that you all are having a continued blessed day. Oh, come on, somebody. This walk is not easy, but it is needful. Oh, hallelujah to his name. I'm going to start off with my verse. Um, it is New King James Version. It is Luke 14, 23, and it says, Then the master said to the servant, Go out into the highways and hedges and compel them to come in that my house may be filled. Praise God. Then you see the, New, the King James Version. It says, And the Lord said unto the servant, Go out into the highways and hedges and compel them to come in that my house may be filled. Well, first of all, it was a very... um. I guess, and I'm just going to be very, very, very transparent. I was shaking today. I I guess it had been a long time, and I thank God for being obedient. I thank God for being in my life because we're not that great. My heart was filled. Um, they had, I'm not going to say names because you just never know who still has a phone just because they're homeless, and I, I would never want to hurt anybody or make them feel embarrassed, but we're going to say they had a lot of people out there, and oh my God, there was one woman. She just got um, homeless like two months ago, and it hurt my heart. She was very well kept, and, and you know, um, point blank, we helped her out with some things, and she said, um, my family turned their back on me, and you know, it just hurt my heart. I was like, God... I, and I, I'm trying, I'm trying, y'all. I'm sorry. I'm a little fool. It just reminded me of how unconnected the church is, how people are, how the enemy has came in and tried to desynthesize people to where, um, we're not feeling for each other. I'm not saying feeling sorry or a person that's trying to get over, but I'm talking about family, just being there for family. So anyway, um, there were some gang members there also, so I got a chance to witness to them. Now, I got to say something because that's why God wanted me to do it this way. I did not take pictures and I did not record anything. God says too many people, they put it on Facebook, like, look what I'm doing. You know, first of all, if you was in that situation, would you want somebody to record you? Let's be honest. So I, I kept my phone in my pocket and no one else recorded or did anything. We were, we just loved on them. Told them a little bit of my testimony. Um, you know, they, they were looking at us kind of crazy, you know, <laughs> you know how people are because you have to be skeptical these days. Even they are. And but they're still human. So we prayed with them. We fed them. And um, believe it or not, we ran out of food. And I thank God for Prophet Rice. He went back. And he got some more food. So we got hamburgers. So we had to get like 40, 50 more hamburgers. And it was crazy. I mean, God is good. I mean, then um, it's so much. I'm trying to not skip anything. So we prayed with them. Um, I made sure I touched people with oil, with the anointing oil. Anointing oil is very powerful. Um, we ministered. I was able to prophesy to some of them, and it was so crazy because all we're going to say is um, Mr. H, him and his girlfriend was out there, and she said, oh, my God, how would you know that? And I said, it's the gift of the prophetic. I'm not that great. But my thing is, you got to love people back to life, people. We're, we're not all that. You know, I think the church has gotten forgotten what we're really supposed to be doing. Everybody's sitting in the pews. Everybody's giving conferences. Everybody's doing this. Every when the last time you really just, and, and hold on, you know, it's true. Sometimes the Holy Spirit will tell you, stop, get that person this, get that person this, stop and feed them. And you be thinking you're tripping. You're not tripping. It's just that it's an inconvenience, huh? Oh, come on, somebody, hallelujah, because the Holy Ghost will inconvenience you just to see if you're listening to God or you're going to just be, you know, look, I ain't got time for this right now. I'm all about me. And I thank God that we took out the time today. And hold on, hold on. Let me go ahead and do a disclaimer. It is not about me because if you didn't see how I was looking at the video, I was tired. I don't think y'all understand. The last three days, I've been going so much until my body is literally tired. But I guess, ain't no guess, God wanted this done today. And so I didn't even kind of like, I just, you know, I was like, okay, God, I'm a push. And I, I'm so glad I did. I am so glad I did because it, it really lifted up my spirit. Because, and, oh my God, let me tell you, I got excited about this part. We stood out in the middle of a field, kind of like on the sidewalk, and it was all homeless people. And we, um, 
we got in a circle and we prayed and it was so crazy because soon as we walked up, this one guy, he said, y'all going to pray for us. And I love when people say, y'all going to pray for us. You know what I'm saying? So we all prayed and it was so crazy because um, something funny always happens, right? They had this one guy, he had his hamburger in his hand. So when we was praying, his hamburger went up in the air and came back down. He said, it was a powerful prayer. He said, because I lost my burger. So we had to go back and get some more burgers. It was crazy. It was so crazy. God is so good. And uh, again, this is not to glorify us. This is just, this is what we're supposed to be doing, people. I know we're all, and I'm going to say it like this. The true people of God, we are in between blessings. And some of us have a little bit more than others. But always be mindful to bless somebody because God bless you. Be mindful not to have a greedy spirit. Be mindful to love each other back to life. Be mindful. I, I, I don't know. God just helped me on that being thankful and being mindful, people, because people are hurting. And then this one particular lady, like I said, you can tell she was well kept and you could tell she was so hurt. And, you know, this is one of my dreams. I've always wanted to kind of like open up some kind of place where they could, you know, um, lay their head and they don't have to pay and also help them out with clothes and prayer, you know, um, hopefully one day God allow me to do such things. Cause I've never, and this is going to sound crazy, but this is the truth before God. I've never wanted to become rich just for myself. I have a heart to help people. I love seeing people bless, people help, people smile, people have hope again. And that's what happened today. Um, this one guy, he was a, a gang member, and um, y'all know I'm ex-everything. So I had to talk to him on that level, and he just started laughing. I said, yeah, I, I, I see it in your eyes. I say, you know, you can change. If God changed me, he can change you. So I just want to encourage everyone, you know, whatever you have, even if you don't have anything, just pray for somebody. Just say, hey, um, do you know the Lord Jesus Christ as your Savior? And then while we was leaving, they had this girl on, on, on the side of the road. And God said, stop. And I knew that was a test because we was already tired, right? But we pulled over and stopped. I got to tell y'all this one. And before I say this as this claim, I love everybody. But the truth is the truth is the truth. You could tell she was gay, right? So I went to shake her hand and she said, oh, I want to hug you. And so then she had her shades on. I said, please take off your shades. She said, yeah, because I might be looking at your breast. And I just looked at her. I said, oh, we got a live one here. So I put it all on my hand and I told her, I said, let's pray. So we was praying and she, she was about to catch the bus, right? And she, you know, she loved the Lord. Let me tell you something. I'm about to say something powerful. People love the Lord and they just caught up in sin. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. We all sin. Don't get it twisted. Just you, some big, some small, some lust, some you, whatever your sin is. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And so, because she really was very versed of the Bible. So we was talking and she kept trying to hug me again. And, and I would kind of like switch on her. And then I just looked at her very firm. No, 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 no. We ain't going to play that. I know that game. I'm, uh, uh, uh. But my whole thing is. The power of God overtook her. Do you know we started dancing in the parking lot? Yeah. We started dancing in the parking lot. And she said, you know, um, so I gave her my card. I said, stay in touch, you know. And again, I'm so glad that we stopped. Most people wouldn't have stopped because I'm. Tr she looked like a boy. Y'all understand what I'm saying. When you are witnessing, you can't be having no attitude. You can't be acting like you're better than people. You can't be judging people. We're just to love them. Just to love them and let them know Jesus can change you. You got to renew your mind and you got to want it. And you got to want to not give up. Come on, somebody. I'll leave because I'm going to be honest with you. What All it is, they've lost hope. They don't believe in themselves and people, you know, when, when you got a situation, oh, shoes, we do it to each other in the church. Let somebody go through something. Oh, y'all start talking about them instead of pray for them. Y'all know it's true. So it's the same thing. So when you go out there, just love them back to life. So I'm going to get up on here, off here because I'm tired. I ain't going to lie, but I thank God that he, he allowed me to do this. Um, thank you, God. And um, this is just testifying. But one thing I will not be doing, and I will be going out there some more, I will not be taking pictures. I will not be recording it. I want to be an example to you guys. You know, if you do all that, you're looking for a show. You want people to see, hey, look at me. You know what? What you do in secret, God will reward you openly. But then you have to ask yourself, why are you doing what you're doing? We're supposed to do it from our heart, right? 
So God bless you. God keep you. And I pray for my family because y'all are family. Oh, come on, somebody. Even the ones that don't like me, I love you anyway. So God bless you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Roll out soldiers for that is who we are. God bless.